Hey, what's up guys? This is Tony, B&B Farms, Freedom, Indiana. I'm down at the sawmill shed today. We've got our Woodland Mills HM126, getting it ready for business. We've also got our LS tractor. It's an XG3140. And that's what we use to get these logs you see here brought to the mill. Uh, thought I would take just a minute and show you guys what we use to drag them out with. We've got a, a factory set of log tongs, those red log tongs you see there. And we built a, a frame for our three-point hitch that those log tongs hook to. So let me get down in there and I'll show you what we did. We started off with just a factory draw bar. I didn't see any need to reinvent the wheel when that would work just fine. We took some three-inch angle iron, one on, one on the top and one up underneath, right, right here. Drilled a couple holes through it bolted it to that draw bar kind of sandwiched that draw bar in between it and to these horizontal runs of angle iron we welded a vertical piece of three inch angle iron right here and one just like it on the other side see the welds right there uh also there is a piece of flat three inch steel right here welded across, across those two vertical pieces. We've got a piece of two and a half inch square tubing. It just sits here, just sits right down on this angle iron. We've got it welded all the way around it and welded here as well. We've got a hole in this angle iron for our top link. And up on top, see if I can get up here to see this. Yeah, there you go. Like I said, this is two and a half inch square tubing. This is a piece of two inch square tubing. It slides down in this. We've got some more of that three inch flat welded out here at a 90 degree angle. And of course that's our, that's our hitch point for our log tongs. Uh, I was going to drill some holes through here so that I could pin it. Uh, this section right here actually um, slides up, up out of there. So you can, you can extend that. If you've got a, like a, a larger diameter log, you want to back over, you can just raise that up. So I was going to drill those holes in it and pin pin it where you could drive a, a, a pin through it and hold that but to be honest I haven't needed it uh, it's worked fine just the way it is so uh, that's about it I know you guys can whip this up and fabricate this in no time flat nothing to it uh, I appreciate you watching if you want to hit that like and subscribe button that would really help us out I'll see you next time